David Copperfield just announced that in February of 2024, he's going to make the moon vanish. And as you can imagine, the internet has been running wild coming up with the craziest theories on how he's going to do it. It's gone. It was right there at the Statue of Liberty. It's gone. David Copperfield escaped from Alcatraz. And it was nothing there. I just couldn't. I've scoured the web, reading thousands of people's comments. And in particular, I found three crazy comments that are so crazy as to how he might do it. They might just be right. And I'm going to share those with you in today's video. But not only that, I'm also going to teach you how you can do this yourself, how you can make the moon vanish yourself at home right now. Well, like not right now, it's midday, but like tonight, because I'm like, I mean, the moon's already gone. My name is Lloyd and I'm a professional magic creator. That means I literally create the magic tricks for magicians all over the world. I've created magic for stage, television, movies, and for some of the biggest named magicians in the world. I'm like a festively plump Jonathan Creek that sadly doesn't get to solve enough murders. I was aiming for his bull. And as a disclaimer, I don't know David Copfield, never worked for him, have no insider info. Nobody knows what he's going to do in February, most of all me. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. But first, let me show you how you can make the moon vanish without a billion dollar budget. Now, for those of you that have ever been to Disneyland or have seen like Tupac on stage or ABBA using those holograms that look completely real, what you're going to essentially do is recreate this, it's called Pepper's Ghost Illusion, but in your garden. To do it, it's really simple. Just go to Amazon.com, get yourself a moon projector for like 20 bucks, or if you don't want to do that, you can get an iPad or a big screen with an image of the moon on it. You're going to set that up in your garden, but you're secretly going to place a piece of perspex between the window and the projector or iPad. Shine the image of the moon onto the perspex, and when you look outside of the window, as long as the perspex is bigger than the frames, you can't see it's there, you'll see what looks like an image of the moon floating in the sky. Have that projector linked up to a smart plug, and whenever you want to, you can activate the plug to turn the projection of the moon off, and when looking outside of the window, it'll look like the moon just vanishes. But now let's move on to some of the crazy theories from around the world. In at number three, we have this comment that says, probably going to use drones to fly a black curtain up in front of it. It wouldn't even need to be that big if you think about it. So this is kind of crazy, but he's right. If you think about it, the curtain wouldn't need to be the size of the moon because the moon is so far away. When you look in the sky, it's only kind of small. So maybe this black curtain could only be like 20, 30 meters. And we know that drones exist. If, it, if they fly up far away and there's some sound for the live audience, then who knows? So it's kind of crazy, but it's not out of the realms of possibility for an actual billionaire. And it's definitely not as crazy as the method that takes the top spot. But before that, let's cover comment number two. I did some digging. On February the 9th next year, it's a new moon, meaning there's no visible moon in the sky that night. The trick will be to make it look like it's there before it vanishes. Pre-record it and play it a week later as if it's live. Bish, bash, bosh. No need for actors as the crowd really thinks it's gone. Hashtag you heard it here first. This is kind of incredibly clever, but also kind of crazy. And I absolutely love it. I did some research myself and it's true. It, on February the 9th, there is a new moon. And what that means is that the sun and the moon are completely in line with the earth that night. So there's no light shining on the moon to turn it into a big mirror that allows us to see the moon in the air. And the thing that they say about pre-recording it and there being no actors is kind of genius. Because one thing I know as a magician, when I create magic for TV shows for other magicians, I, I have a rule of no actors because as humans, we can always tell when somebody's acting. It doesn't matter how good or bad the stooge is, we can always tell. But what we can tell is when someone's being genuine. We all can tell this, every human around the world. So if these people that are watching it live can genuinely see there's no moon in the sky, they genuinely believe it, we'll believe it too because we'll believe their honest reactions. Kind of genius in a way. And then play it on a live stream a week later as if it's happening live and everything sort of falls together. <laughs> So it's a crazy comment that's so crazy it might just work. But it's not my favorite method. My favorite method is the one that takes the top spot. 
But before I share it with you, let me tell you what David Copperfield himself said about making the moon vanish. Now he's not actually doing it to promote a new show or make tons of money for himself. He's actually doing this for an incredible charitable cause and it's so commendable. What he said is this, if one person can make the moon disappear from the sky, imagine how together we can make poverty, hunger and danger disappear for children on earth. And I know that Save the Children works incredibly hard to try and make that a reality. That's magic right there. A selfless act to literally better the world we live in for no personal gain. Massive respect to you, David Copperfield. I think it's going to inspire a new whole generation of magicians. If you want to learn some of my magic tricks, then hit the subscribe button right now. Ping that notification bell. I have a personal goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers and I'm three quarters of the way there, so it would mean the world if you did that. So with that being said, let's dive into the third and craziest and my personal favorite theory of all from this comment which says giant black balloons are not anything new i put my money on him sending one up with some sort of projector on the inside that always points in the right direction on a night when the moon isn't visible <laughs> send it up higher than the clouds and when the magical moment is right flick the switch and turn the sucker off anyone want to pay me a billion dollars now I think this is kind of brilliant without the guy realizing and without doing the research of knowing that on the 9th of February, there's no moon visible in the sky for realsies. Couple that with what he said about the clouds. This is the smart part. If you create the Pepper's ghost illusion in your garden with that projector, you've got to do it on a night when there's no clouds in the sky because if the moon is in front of the clouds, it gives the game away. We just know that that image doesn't work. <laughs> But if an image of the moon is up higher than the clouds, then there's that depth created that tells our eyes, oh, oh, that moon really is high in the sky because those clouds convince us so. And he just offhand casually mentions on a night when the moon isn't in the sky. And lo and behold, there is a night in February when the moon isn't in the sky. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know the theory of what you think he's going to do in February next year. And if you want to learn how I made the money change at the beginning of the video, then I suggest clicking the video link that's about to appear right now.